My name is Robert Kuhlman. I'm a graduate researcher at UW-Madison, and I study a method of turning sawdust into gasoline. First of all, why should this be studied? Doesn't burning gasoline release CO2 into the atmosphere no matter where it came from? While the bit about CO2 is true, it still does matter, so let's look at why. Fossil fuels add CO2 to the atmosphere because of one-way transfer of carbon from the ground to fuel to the air. Biofuels, on the other hand, when they're used correctly, cycle carbon from plant to fuel to the air and back to being a plant. This works because photosynthesis is the process of transforming atmospheric carbon, or CO2, into plant materials. These plant materials include foods such as sugars or fats, and structural materials such as cellulose and lignin. Wood is actually a mixture of these two structural compounds called lignocellulose. Since humans can't get energy when they eat wood, its use as a fuel feedstock will never directly compete with food production. The technique I study is called catalytic fast pyrolysis of lignocellulosic biomass in fluidized beds. As I said earlier, lignocellulose is the chemical name of certain plant materials like sawdust. Moving on to pyrolysis. You see pyrolysis every time you look at a candle flame or campfire. It's the process of using heat to bust large molecules into small molecules. A flame is actually the reaction of pyrolysis fumes with oxygen. Fast pyrolysis makes fumes, and slow pyrolysis makes char. The idea behind fast pyrolysis is to heat up the feed material very quickly so it all turns into fumes. On to catalytic. Rather than letting the fumes combust with oxygen, they interact with a solid zeolite catalyst. A catalyst is a material that speeds up a specific reaction, and a zeolite is a special porous structure of silicon, aluminum, and oxygen. Since the zeolite chosen has a pore size the same as gasoline molecules, when pyrolysis fumes adsorb to the catalyst, they preferentially form gasoline molecules. Lastly, fluidized beds. The catalyst is basically a powder. It's brought into contact with the pyrolysis fumes in a configuration called a fluidized bed. This is in contrast to a fixed bed where powder is packed in like in a water filter. When cleaning a fish tank, a siphon has to lift the gravel to get at the fish poo underneath. The water is said to fluidize the gravel. In the lab, we fluidize a bed of zeolite powder with inert gas in a furnace and feed in a stream of sawdust. The sawdust pyrolyzes and the fumes turn into gasoline. The gasoline vapor then leaves the top of the reactor to be condensed into fuel product with an octane rating of about 112. Work is already underway to perform this green gasoline technology at a larger scale. In a few years, you'll be able to pull up to the pump to power your car with gasoline that was once plants. Unless there's a sign that tells you your gas came from wood or grass, you won't be able to tell the difference.